Today is Wednesday, May 4th, 2022. Welcome to the Survivor Fans Podcast. I'm Joanne. And I'm Stacy. And this is our recap of Survivor 42, Week 9. May the 4th be with you. I knew you were going to do that. Uh huh. Had to. You Had hadn't to. said anything all day. <laughs> and I was just thinking when I read the date oh, he hadn't done that all day. <laughs> you know it. Okay, this episode is titled Tell a Good Lie. Not a stupid lie. And that was from Mastermind Omer. Yep. It's night 17 coming back from that tribal council. It took me a minute to realize, oh yeah, it's just the the first tribal council people coming in. Thunder and lightning and pouring rain. Yep, the first tribal council group's there. Uh, and uh, High exclaims, that's exactly the way we wanted. Mike, let me be the driver. He's so happy. He agreed to that. Mike, on the other hand, not happy. <laughs> I let High play my game. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. It's like, well, you did it. High so. steps away for a second, and Mike says to Omer, "Did you feel pressured? To, was that, was no, that like a pressure?" Like, vote? Were you happy with what I mean? And Omar did, did his whole. Well, I'm sorry that you feel. I'm fine, but leery. Mike said, "Yeah." Of Mr. High. Yeah, Omer jumped right on that. He loved it, huh? Yep, yep. He sure is uh, driving the train a lot. That's, yes, that's Omer was actually, really driving. When we saw the preview clip mm-hmm. that Omer was targeting High, both yes. of us picked High to go, even though you struggled terribly because you didn't want to put your... USB, uh, yep, yep, that yep. was tough. But Mr. Omer usually gets his man yeah, so, or I his target. Let's say his target. That's why we thought, no, we're going to put high because Omar's after him. And so far he's gotten every vote he wanted. <sighs> and then what well, happened? Omer during? tells us, Mikey mm. no likey, and that makes Omer happy. He's going to bring Mikey in close, and he's going to sever that tie to high. And then the others come wandering in from their tribal. Yep. Drea tells us, well, she's still got the knowledge is power, the amulet advantage, and an extra vote. And she's ready to play hard from here on out. So she's armed and ready. So the next day, Lindsay can't write to a runoff and tell Omar mm-hmm. how terrible Jonathan Jonathan acted. screwed it up. Everything. Everything. It's He's his, put Marianne in jeopardy. Blah, 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 blah. His plan or no plan. You can't rely on him. So I'm going to look for an idol. And Lindsay says, he reflects poorly on me. Yep. She was so close to that. She, uh, it, <sighs> how, how does she not touch it? I don't know if we've ever yeah, seen someone come that close before. Well, then Her she, finger was just millimeters away. Then she turned around and reached up and pulled something out of the tree there, some cloth or something. But I was like, oh, jeez, you were so close. So Lindsay missed it. They showed us where it was, and then here comes Marianne. She's just at first out to get something dry to help start a fire, and nah, she goes... she went to look for the idol. Come on. She noticed an they odd were... tree, and she said, well, I gotta at least check that tree while I'm out here, and sure enough, she gets it. So she is back in business. She has an extra vote, and now she has a truly original hidden immunity idol Goodness none of these gracious. funky beware advantages with rabbits and mailboxes it's just a straight up hidden immunity idol and she has it well good honor still lots of firepower in the game but i wanted to be a little fly on the wall at Lindsay's house mm-hmm. when she saw that <laughs> yeah when she screamed i'm pretty sure she screamed yeah i, can't I would say it. so and then started furiously texting everybody. Reward challenge here on day 18 came very early in the episode with some surprise sideways blowing rain. 
Yep. They looked oh, pretty dire as they came in. Before we moved too far away, I wanted to know how long do you think Marianne can hold out without telling somebody? I was surprised we didn't see it because this is a two-day cycle. Mm -hmm. and I expected to. I, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that she did, that we're going to get a flashback yeah, on day 18 yeah, yeah. when she she shared it with someone because she, she seemed to clearly understand the benefits of not sharing it. But, mm, well, let's hope so for her sake that she can hold on to it. Prompt. Prompt. <laughs> Probst <Prompt>. is pumped. <laughs> uh, uh, fumbling over my own <laughs> notes there. Yeah, he is excited. He's thrilled. Meanwhile, the castaways, not so much. They're yeah. just barely hanging on and shivering. But he's like, well, this is going to be fun. I just wanted to yell at him myself. I thought, how do they not yell at him? I yeah. would have already... Yeah, it's like my mama would wash my mouth out. I am about to tell Mike you. Mike was playing along. <laughs> I'm freezing. He said, oh, it's a rough night, but we're here to play Survivor, so all it's this like, move along, Jeff. hardship move along. doesn't matter. And Lindsay was like, yeah, yeah, we're here. Keep going. Say the words, probes. Let's get this thing He's going. He's like, well, let's, let's play the game. And Andrea's like, yes. It's like, come on. They just want to get out of the rain. At this point, I don't even know that they cared until they... Heard what the reward was. Yeah. Then they cared. Yeah, so they got a. They're gonna start in the water. I didn't catch that at first, but they're gonna maneuver a sandbag through. They're gonna release the sandbag and then remove it through obstacles on on land, and then they just have to toss the one sandbag mm -hmm. and land it on the pedestal to get pizza and beer at sanctuary, and it's an overnighter. So I would food say food and warmth and completely out of the rain. That was not the original challenge that they had scheduled. I believe that was a abbreviated challenge that they went, oh no, we're not doing that in the water again with it this rough. So we'll just start them right here. Just forget everything else out there. Don't even do it. And let's oh, just start okay. right here. I don't think that was the whole challenge that hmm. was intended. I assumed it was since he said it was going to be easy and fun. Uh, he pointed that out, but I don't think that's how it started. Yeah, I think the waters were just too rough again, and they weren't going to go there. It was too dangerous. Yep, so they start in water up to their neck, and then they're, they've got to uh, go over and under some obstacles, and then they got to untie their sandbag, and then uh, some more maneuvering and a teeter-totter, and then they can just start throwing the sandbag. Jonathan, okay. not surprisingly, was threw it all first and starting his throws, but it just seemed to be a series of on and offs. Either they, they missed it. Yep, anybody could have won that one. Seriously, or it landed on the pedestal and then slid off again, and that happened for Lindsay and Hi and Drea and Jonathan, and then finally Lindsay nailed it, and she exclaimed, I won one. <laughs> well, I think she's really been wanting to beat Jonathan. I think that was her own personal goal, just to beat Jonathan even more she's than She's going to punish him now because he went off the rails with that uh, last she vote. She seems to have still be very upset mm -hmm. with Jonathan and frustrated. What did you think of her selection and how she justified who's going to join her? Um, I think that was as good as any. I don't know that... Uh, how much people bought that or didn't buy it, but it was what it was. I like that she showed the initiative and went ahead and said, hey, can I bring another? She didn't yeah. wait. Yeah. She just went for it, and then she pulled Mike in. Yeah. Were you surprised she, she pulled Mike for the second? I was uh, a little off guard a little by bit. that. Yeah, yeah, I was. I really thought she would uh, go ahead and pull Jonathan because... He needs more food than everybody. He usually expends more energy than the others. And he's been feeding them. And he's been feeding them. How many them. times has so, he gotten mm -hmm. her food? But I I hadn't really thought that Mike hadn't gotten a reward. So I guess she knows what she's talking about. Well, and she tells us in a confessional, know. these are the two people I really wanted to discuss strategy with. Well, so. I knew why she did it for real. And they might too. I was a little surprised that she passed Andrea and Hi, because that would have been a great opportunity to talk about how to manage yeah. their amulet advantage. Yeah, I thought that initially too. That oh, this would be a great time to decide if they're going to use it to talk strategy and 
and use their extra votes to make the game go the way they wanted. Yeah, if this was going to be the time to pull the trigger on that. But it was not the time, obviously. <laughs> so She had a different plan. She's realizing that Jonathan just can't be relied upon yep. in the, strategically in the context of an alliance and needing to distance herself. So, yeah, I, who better to pick than Omer to... to well, I would say that Mike is a really good choice as well because... Loyal. He, loyal. Yeah. However, <laughs> loyal, but he's voted out two of his alliances in the last two drivers, well, that's the, too. That's so. the thing. You got someone who strives mm. for loyalty, but is also completely malleable. Yeah. <laughs> and... He gets spun around real easy, manipulated evidently. manipulated fairly easily. Yeah. Oh, Omer. Mm. Okay, let's don't jump ahead. We go back to uh, still in day 18. Back at camp, Romeo tells us, you know, it just doesn't translate how hard this is when you're watching from home. Yep, Marianne tells us how, you know, as it gets closer to the end and how much harder it gets and how much pain she has and her leg muscles and everything, wet clothes and cold wind and freezing and it does not sound fun boy i remember a mistake that i made when i was doing Ooh, some yeah, some I know uh, where you're going outdoor training <laughs> where and we were getting towards the end of this the to this two-week adventure too and we'd done this long kind of dangerous hike and got towards the end of the day just covered in dust and hot and we're like hey let's go down here where there's some water and we'll just get in and wash off no sooner had we gotten out that a storm rolled up and just started dumping torrentially on us. Now, we had some gear. So I, I had a tarp that I'd been using to make shelters and stuff like that. So I was able to get under the tarp, but I was already soaking wet. And I had got in with my shirt on because my shirt, if I sat it down, could stand up on its own at that point. It was so dirt and sweat encrusted that it was pretty stiff. Yeah, anyway, so I, so I... <laughs> So I was washing all that out, and I was very pleased with that, and we had cooled down, and that felt good. And then the rain came, and it was cold rain. Even though it was in the desert, it was a cold, cold rain. And I started to, to realize, okay, I'm headed towards hypothermia here. This, If this doesn't let up, this is going to be really bad. So what they're going through, I got just a tiny taste of it, and it is very unsettling for sure. And you forgot to mention that it was a flash flood, and you had nowhere to go. It was, and we're in dire straits. Well, I was going to leave that part out mm-hmm. for now. That wasn't pertinent. But it was all about the rain. That's why you have not gotten the <laughs> nod to go back and do another one of those. Well, okay. Yep. That might have had something to do with it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Romeo said it doesn't translate how hard it is at home, and I concur. That can be very, very difficult. And we know that from interviewing other castaways that that's some things that the the rain actually sticks with them. They have trouble with even after coming back. That Psychologically, it, it'll bring you down oh, yeah. and oh, just start. Yeah. yeah, it'll put We've you in a hole so real quick. We've heard so many stories about, and especially the rain, and mm-hmm. how... They had, uh, basically what they described was uh, PTSD <laughs> it from, yeah, so, it from their survivor experience. Yeah. And the rains and how every time it rained, it took years for a lot of people to get beyond that. So they'd be back at home, in a house, dry. Made no difference just fine, at all. But just, it grabbed hold of them when that happened mm-hmm. and took them back to that place. Same thing with the food, you know. Yep. High, on the other hand, tells us that he had a hard childhood, so he's not struggling as much as Romeo is with this. And him and Jonathan get to work and fix the shelter and adjust the tarp. And Well, he said he knew how much worse things could be. Mm-hmm. And uh, so... He tells us misery is temporary. Okay, the thing that surprised me, you know, Romeo had said he would kill for a warm bed. Mm-hmm. And I thought... I'm really surprised they didn't have more resentment toward Lindsay since they felt that strongly. We don't know. They very well, well may that's, have. That's true. <laughs> they just chose we not to share that it, part because it wasn't pertinent to how the this story ended across these two days right now. But true, yes, true. So what I was so shocked at Lindsay at this point talking to High with Jonathan two feet behind her. 
That was risky, in huh? In the shelter. Yeah. And she's whispering to High about voting him out. High first uh, says, well, yeah, I'm going, I want to get Romeo out. That's been his longstanding target. Mm-hmm. And then he asked, what about Jonathan? Well, if he loses, and High is certainly mm-hmm. open to it. So, yeah, that was the, that was option number two. They don't often always show you things, you know, when people are whispering. Mm-hmm. But they showed that for a reason, I think. Yeah, He's, sure. Because he was right there. Yeah. That, oh, okay. Okay, cut to night 18. They're out at the sanctuary location, and they got a bonus. So not only did they have pizza and beer or soft drinks, and they were out of the rain, and they had some shelters there, and pillows and blankets, Probe told us. But they got messages from loved ones projected onto the landscape. That was I really cool. I loved it that they started out just hearing. Yeah, the, playing what, some audio. What is that? What am I hearing? I thought that was Lindsay's voice. I thought, why are they playing Lindsay's <laughs> voice? This is weird. Yeah, that turned out really cool. But, you know, I could, I just kind of put myself in that, that if I heard your voice, I would, I would know it. So yep. that, how exciting that would be when you realized, wait. I know that voice. When you ha- yeah, when you had the presence of mind to recognize it, mm-hmm. and they wait until you're completely distracted with the food, with and then the pizza, he- and you're like, <laughs> hit you with that, yeah. And Omer said that was food for the soul. It brought Mike to tears pretty quickly. They really love manipulating your uh, senses and your feelings and all of that kind of stuff at once. I-, I think that was designed that way. Let them just really be getting into that pizza and mm-hmm. feeling all of that and then give them something even Drop better. Drop your guard, you're eating, oh, you're drinking, yeah. you're feeling good. And then blammo, That's like, messages from home. I didn't even know I needed that. <laughs> but speaking of manipulative, oh, oh my goodness, Omar, Omar shifted yeah. into a whole nother gear we didn't even know he had. Yep. He totally started working Mike. This friendship, and I got, I just, I feel bad. I got to share something with you. Hi told me Mike is my puppet. I can make him do whatever I want in the game. Yep. And Mike said, I know you're speaking truth because what you're saying makes <laughs> sense. And yet he was lying through his teeth. And Omer, yes, was lying. <laughs> he tells us that never happened. But if you're going to tell a lie, Make sure you tell a good one and not a stupid one. That's when we got the title yep. of the episode. Wow, Omer. Mm. Now, is he is he creeping towards evil land with how effective that was and the path, the tools that he chose to get there? What did you think of that? What I did you know. make I of that? I can't really see him as evil there, but that was, that was such a good move. It's kind of like when you found out that... Uh, Fair Play's grandma really wasn't dead, and you're like, what? Maybe not quite that good. But yeah, not that good, but no, I understand what good, you're saying. But it was good. It was very good, very skillful. And because I don't think any any of them were expecting that Omar would lie about. All this friendship talk cracked something loose with Lindsay, so here she goes sharing about the amulet oh, advantage. Oh, now that I didn't agree with. Lindsay, what are you doing? You told them not only about the amulet, you told them exactly how, how it, works it works and who has them. Yeah. I thought, okay, well, you're the one reading the room, so okay, if you thought that was best, but I hope so that I was, doesn't come back to bite her. When we got the family flashback for High, I was optimistic. I'm like, okay, this looks like this could be swan song material. I went ahead and set High to be my vote out pick, so this is promising. And now... It's intensifying on high, <laughs> and I've completely seesawed the other direction. I'm like, oh, no, this is too much, too early. He, he's just being focused on so much here. Yeah, now it's not going to be high. Yeah, it's not going to be high. Yeah. And uh, I thought, well, that's typical. We think one thing, and then it goes another. And so, yeah, we got, they, they worked us good with yes. the edit. It was a master class in manipulation <laughs> on all kinds of levels yeah, this well, week. They manipulated even more later, so yes. we'll get to that. But, okay, day 19, finally, there's no rain. Community challenge. Uh, I hate standing on those narrow perches. Yeah, does it make you anxious? <laughs> well, you know me in height. Yeah. It doesn't have to be much height. Yeah. Just height. And that would be part of that, because I would not want to fall even off of that. Yeah. 
So, mm, so I they get the don't wooden like that, wooden but. bow that they have to balance the ball on, and then there's yeah that balance beam that gets narrower and narrower as the levels progress. I would say the majority of people aren't wouldn't be good at that because there's too many things to balance at once. Mm-hmm. You know, you're focused on your core and you're balancing, you know, to just keep your body on it and standing there. And then you got to worry about the bow and the ball. And I think Mike, Hi, and Romeo would agree with you completely. <laughs> yeah. about the, Especially Mike and Hi. They went out very quickly. Very quickly. I don't think we've ever... We've seen this before, this challenge. And I don't know that we've ever seen anyone be so active. Jonathan took this to a whole nother level with the ball almost constantly being in motion the whole time. Yeah, I w- I was really surprised they went out that quickly, especially high. So we had uh, Mike out first, high Romeo, Omar. Then they changed to the narrower section after five minutes. Yeah, Marianne's out immediately after that. Yep. Then Drea, and it's down to Lindsay and Jonathan. And then they move to the most narrow. Yeah. So first round was five minutes, then ten minutes. Uh, and then, what did he say? 30 minutes, but I don't, I wrote 30 no, minutes 10 down. 10 minutes. They, no, for the last one. Oh, the last one. Oh, I don't know but if they a lot of times they don't. They, they, they don't put a limit on, it. right? Why did I write no. 30 minutes down then? I don't know why. That anyway, was Jonathan was having a hard time on the balance beam, but he got it together, but then he lost it, and Lindsay one second right. win in a row good on her packed it in guaranteed uh-huh. to final seven good job Lindsay. i liked mike saying how's he doing that yeah when jonathan kept almost losing the ball and then uh-huh. he balanced it he was so good at not over correcting i thought oh, now that's impressive yeah. it's really hard not to overcorrect, and that's usually when people lose it is they go ha and thought, then they overcorrect. i thought with all that practice because that's what I kept thinking, wow, he's getting so much practice in managing it and refining his control of it. The minute Lindsay starts to move, because hers hasn't been moving at all, she's not going to be ready. But, hey, she ended up winning after all. Yeah. And I think it was mainly because he didn't fit on there with those big, giant thunder feet. His feet, feet, yeah. Yeah. He didn't have enough space to get balance Mm because his feet probably hung over the side. Mike tells us, high didn't win. He, the king is going to be dethroned tonight. Yep, he thinks he's a king. But. At which point I wrote down, shoot, that means high is not going. Yeah. <laughs> well, we said that out loud. We yeah. talked about it, too. And it was like, yeah, they always, that's that's not a good omen when they Crap. say stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So they did manipulate you and I pretty good, for sure. Back, yeah, we fell for it. Back <laughs> at camp, everybody's congratulating Lindsay. Yeah. Hyde tells us he is grateful Jonathan didn't win. So he pitches to Mike, let's take Jonathan out. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we gotta get him out. He's he always what, wins. What do you or think about second? What do you think about Mike, Mike's performance there? That was pretty good, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was pretty good. The boy's learning to lie well. He told Hi, I don't have a handshake with Jonathan. Yeah. And then Hi even checked himself. He said I don't want to be pushy like Roxroy. Are you okay with this? <laughs> and he pretended to be on board. It's too late. Too late. Hi. I'm sorry. It's too late. But then he goes and tells Jonathan, hey, he's after you. It's you. Yep. And, uh, but we're going to take him out. Jonathan asks Mike, does he have an idol? And Mike exclaims, absolutely not, which is important yes, for what's it is. coming. Yes. So and we see Dre and Lindsay talking. Yeah, Andrea said, well, he's got to go so we can have the steel boat. So I can have an answer for my husband. Well, that too. Because he's going to ask me why I didn't take why didn't I out. Why you vote him out? <laughs> and yeah. I like and, that she's thinking about what her husband would say. In her yeah. Head. I'm pretty funny. sure you could hear me Yeah, out sure, too. sure. <laughs> and I definitely would hear you. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, Lordy Stacy. What would you think of their laugh there, their evil little giggle? I, I said, are they manipulating that? <laughs> The sound? You thought maybe they were faking their giggle? Their la- no, their not laugh them. Afterward? I thought the editors yeah. were doing something to... That's, that's what I'm saying. saying oh, okay. Same thing. 
ma to make it sound more evil. Because <laughs> we've heard that in Drea's, who's they, like, oh, that's going to be We got a awesome. synchronized chuckle out of Drea and, and Lindsay. Her and Lindsay. I'm yeah. thinking, wait a minute. That was good of Lindsay. I'm thinking she kind of matched her a little bit. So it's always <laughs> comforting when someone well, hears someone I else had, that sounds like them. I actually enjoyed it. So. And I, lo I love that interchange between Marianne and Lindsay, too, because Lindsay asked Marianne who she wanted. Who did Marianne want to take out? And Marianne said, hi. Yeah. So she was coming to sell the high vote, but well, Marianne and, already is in that direction. I like it that Lindsay stepped back and said, okay, all right, I'm not going to try to rock this boat. Everybody's wanting a high. Mm -hmm. I'll just hold off on Jonathan. It's fine. You know, it can wait. Now she knows she can beat him, so. And Jonathan, when Lindsay was talking to Jonathan, Jonathan said, yes, hi. And then we see Jonathan and Hi get a moment alone there in camp, and Hi pitches because he, he wants him not to play a shot in the dark. He wants, Hi tells us he's got a talent for making people feel comfortable when he's so going to vote him out. play their shot. Yeah. There. And uh, so. Fake idol. He's got an idol, he tells Jonathan, and I'm going to play it for you. And let's vote out Romeo, because mm -hmm. I'm sure he's pitched Jonathan before, did not so. buy it. I don't know. I think he might have if he had not run it past Omar, and Omar told him definitely he does not have one. I think he he would have bought it otherwise. It didn't seem like it from the bit of, little bit of the exchange yes, that we got to see. I still think he would have. He seemed to be telling Omar it's a fake idol, and Omar tells us King High is too high. Yeah, but Omar had already told him he absolutely does not have an idol. That was Mike that told him that. that. Oh, is it Mike? Yep, that's what you're tripping over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we see Omar and Hi talking, and Omar's saying, asking Hi, are we going to take Jonathan tonight? And we see Romeo telling Omar that he only trusts Omar. He, Omar's the only guy in the game that Romeo trusts at this point. That's what he says. Romeo still seems to have no at agency. Least to Omar. <laughs> right? We were talking about the at this point, I think. Romeo's got no agency in the game. He doesn't represent no, any he's irrelevant and yeah. he he's just a vote to, you know if that go along. Yeah, if that. They don't even bother to tell him the right person to vote for many times. So well, this being one of them. Uh, unless they needed his vote and they didn't. So he voted with I. Omer's thrilled. He tells us in a confessional that he is in the middle, and he's wondering if this is the time. He's got to pick the right person at the right time. But okay. It's, it's his call. This really shook us again. What's when that? When Omar started going, well, maybe I thought, wait a minute, Omar. Flip the script. Just because you're not. Take Jonathan he, he didn't out. feel yeah. like he was in control. It was going too easy, and he wanted to shake it up again so that he just. It felt like a little bit of a power trip to me. Yeah. That he's like, no, no, let it me see. It did seem if I a bit unnecessary. His. It's like everybody's on board. Why are you trying to rock the boat? Yeah. And uh, and well, I he's thought, he's trying to get an advantage that way. Well, I thought the irony though of you and I choosing high to go home, yes. especially since because of what Omer your USB, said. Because of what Omer said, and now because Omer always gets his way, <laughs> he and gets, now he's changed. He's it. got another target. Like, he's looking oh, at Jonathan. Oh, jeez! Yeah. And I had Jonathan saved. So yeah, you didn't, but I did. So anyway, I'm like, this is too much. <laughs> but I really felt like. Mike was upset enough that he wasn't going to go along with switching it to John. We were hopeful that that would be the after, case. I thought, Omar, don't push that with Mike because he just got pushed. And if you do that, I think you'll do more harm. So I was still kind of holding out once I had... Off to Tribal Council, night 19. Lindsay gets highlighted by Probst for her back-to-back -back wins. And he's asking, was there any fallout from the reward? She didn't seem to think so, none that she was aware of. Mike even says, no, he didn't really get deep into strategy. He was just delighted to be warm. Lindsay tells us it's a lifetime experience, but, but the experience has lots of the lowest lows and the highest highs. It's not an easy experience, but they're all happy to have it. Yeah. And just got to tough it out. Kind of like what Mike was saying earlier. Yeah. Hi wasn't really buying it, though. 
He said, well, it's possible they didn't talk strategy, but I don't believe it. And alliances are fluid, so, you know. And then he offers, according to his own personal assessment, a perfect analogy. That they're all blindfolded and running a marathon. They have no idea who's in the lead. Homer says, sometimes you just got to go with it and not look back. Yep, you just make a choice. And then there's Mike with the classic line, it's all about your gut. Who and when, it's a gut feeling. Yep. And it changes all the time. <laughs> and, what was Probst driving at with Marianne? I Is don't there know. a constant dialogue in your head? I it's like, well, you know, she chatters on and on and on. I think he was he baiting her. Was, he was to, gonna, trying to wind her up. Yeah. And so she did her kind of work. Yeah. And I don't think anybody listened Survivor to whatever Jenga. she said. And then he tries to trip Jonathan up. And he said, did you track that? Did you follow what she was saying is what he was asking? I love that Jonathan said, absolutely. Well, he said yes. Whether he did it or just, not. Just a simple yes. <laughs> Which Probst isn't supposedly that fond of those kinds of answers. <laughs> when you don't engage, he, he can't get upset well, with them. We've heard yeah, in the past. Yeah, that was a little, uh, I think. That's um, on him. That's on Probst. Yeah. yeah. You ask a yes or no question, and it that's was right. It was a baited question for Jonathan. So. Yeah, and he was baiting Marianne, too, just to get to. Yeah. I just wrote yada. But Marianne, <laughs> yada. And because uh, that's that Jeff just wanted to have her say some long sentence, you know. So Propes, yep, Propes recovers and he goes to Lindsay and said, well, how are you making your decision for the vote tonight? And she said something to the effect of, we're going to make it an even playing field. And boom, Jonathan reacted. That definitely caught his attention. I like how he broke it down, too. He said, so that means that we're thinking someone is too powerful in the game and we need to eliminate that one. And yep. I think he I think he seriously got worried at that point. I'm sure he did. Yeah. Why wouldn't he? High jumped right on board and said, that is a great ambiguous answer. But there's eight different opinions Just here. Just depends, yes. So. Well, we had predicted that Drea might take Mike's idol if the opportunity arose, but that did not happen. We got no idols played, no advantages played. I think that when Lindsay said that, that's when Jonathan was, uh, he was just thinking at that point. I think it threw him into a, what? Yeah. Well, okay, let me figure well, this out. Let's think about this a second. Yeah, but and, there was nothing he could do, nowhere he could no. go. Nothing at all. That Outside of making a plea to someone to do something on his behalf. You are two heartbeats away from time to vote. So not much you can do at that point. Were you surprised that nobody played an idol? Or that Mike didn't play an idol. He's the only, He and Marianne are the only ones that have idols. But there was no advantages played, no idols played. Right. Did that surprise you? That there well, was, I like we had talked about before, I thought Drea might take Mike's idol. I guess somehow she decided this wasn't the right time for that. And I don't think it was because they were all voting together. They were that would she doesn't need to go there yet. Because that's intense when you, you oh, take yeah. someone's idol. Oh, you're, yeah. you're you're done there. Yeah, uh, uh, she would be. He would be after her. Yes. With with not even blink of an eye, he's going to be like, oh, she got to go. Well, when you do it. You kind of want to go ahead and let that person go, too. Yeah. You want to orchestrate that with That's the and you're voted time. out. Yeah. Yes. Take it. Okay, they're going home. Take his idol so he can't use it and send him home. So High ends up being voted out. General High is no more. Gone. I loved his reaction. Yeah, he though. had a good reaction. I liked him better with his Brilliant. reaction. Well played, gang. That was amazing. Oh, yes. That's exactly how I would want to go out. <laughs> and Jonathan, good luck, guys. Jonathan yeah. turned it around on him, too, because High's classically been the one going, love you. And Jonathan oh. did it this time. He said, oh, love I, you, High. <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> Bye, High. I and then just... I's, as High, General High's stumbling off into the distance. He's still mm -hmm. going, wow. <laughs> yeah. They got yeah. him good. Well, he got the full experience there. And uh, and as Mike would say, boom, boom. Boom, two, boom. Two advantages just got upgraded. Lindsay and Drea now have steal of votes. I was trying to figure out who additional voted for votes. Jonathan. High was pretty obvious, but 
you know, I was trying to figure out who who was the other boy, and I thought, oh, Romeo didn't. Poor confused Romeo was not in the loop again. Whatever Omar told him was yeah. not in the loop. Yeah. So why does he still trust Omar? I don't understand that. What choice does he have? Who's doing well, anything yeah. for him? Well, no one, obviously. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> but uh, he's gone now, so yep. Romeo's kind of... So the gone. amulet advantage has been upgraded. We are at condition steal a vote now, assuming they yes, agreed to... Lindsay and Drea... Do that together. If they choose to work together to use it, we'll have steal a vote. If they choose to get rid of the other one, they'll have another idol, or they'll have an idol. So what did you think overall of the episode? I enjoyed it. There was a, Yeah, it was I, good. You know, we create a lot of our own tension. Oh, totally. <laughs> and uh, from playing JSFL. JSFL is a drama factory. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> well, and especially, I would be Put even more edge. nervous if I were in the side challenge. Uh-huh. So. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was another good one. I enjoyed it, too. And like Hi said, wow, what a way to take him out. So I, I'm bummed I am without a USB going into the end game, but that was definitely the way to do it. Next time on Survivor. Whoa, Mike to Lindsay. Oh, we have a direct line to the final four. Not sure exactly who we is, but. Yep, wasn't clear, but he tells us boom, 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 like dominoes. I'm thinking Omar's, the, he thinks Omar's in there. Well, it goes and from Jonathan. him talking about a final four to we see a five person fist bump happening down on the beach and that's Omer, Drea, Mike, Jonathan and Lindsay. Yep. But then you see Romeo saying, "Well, <laughs> that well he he will never see that coming." And then you got Lindsay and Marianne and somebody saying, "Jonathan." And then It sounded like a woman and it, we thought maybe it was Drea, except she but I ends don't up know. yeah. Cuz then uh, Jonathan says, Drea, and then we hear, see Drea saying, well, we may have to go, uh, Mike. There you go. She's talking there to it Omar. Is. Yes. We well, and she's setting Mike. up herself to get another well, idol. Yeah, that and, would be perfect. Yeah. But she didn't have to share that. Omer's thrilled because he gets to take either one out, and we see Propes at an immunity challenging, saying there's a twist to today's challenge, and it's a dangerous one. And I gotta think that's do or die coming no, back it's in. It's gotta be. Seems so, like it. Uh, Even though they're using a different challenge than they did in season 41 for do or die, it did sound like it. Yeah. So they have an option of whether or not they want to participate. So after Drea had said that about Mike, uh, Omar makes the point that, hey, we can choose either one. So who do you think the two targets actually are in his mind, in Omar's mind? Mike or Jonathan? Okay. Uh, if I had to guess, it wasn't clear. So No, it wasn't clear. Yeah. Clear as mud. So, so okay. yeah, with the do or die coming back in this uh, immunity challenge, the way it works is that you don't have to participate, but if you choose not to, there's no chance for immunity. Right. And then the first person that come out of the challenge is actually has to do the do or die. And they may not even vote at tribal council. Yes. That will make next week's vote very difficult because you don't know who's going to. So if it is compete. do or die, then you got to ask yourself, who's going to quit first? Who's going to compete? And who's, then of those, yeah. who's going to end up being out first? Yeah. Because then they've got the, they've got to do the, uh, Pick one of three boxes and then the Monty Hall problem where you can switch after I show you mm. the way Deshaun did last time. Deshaun kind of beat the odds because he did something strategically you're not necessarily supposed to do because of the, the odds aren't in your favor if you go that route, but it worked for Deshaun. Well, I think uh, Marianne, Mike, Omar, Romeo, they could all be in, in trouble with that too. Mm -hmm. I, think I can't Graham, see Mike sitting out either. Yeah, no, I don't think Mike will sit out. Uh, though Marianne might. she got an idol. Mm -hmm. So I think she might go, yeah, I don't do that. Because my idol, she can't use her idol if she does that. She's protected if she sits out. So I think she might sit and we out. Were, we were looking at it. It looks like it's a, it's a different challenge than they used for do or die. 
last season. Yes, it's, it's a, definitely a different It's a challenge, challenge from last season, but it's not the one they used when they did Do or no, Die. No, no. This so is more physical. If you, if you look at that on Next Time on Survivor, you can see there are three posts behind them, and there's like some handles up high coming out of those posts horizontally. Yeah, so they have to like... Um, they have to step up and then would put their heels on a little bitty ledge and then reach behind themselves with their hands above yeah. their head but behind themselves to hold on. Yeah, they did do that challenge last season, but that you're right. That was that the was double immunity the, challenge yeah, last yeah. season. Yeah. But that looks like it, and it was brutal. That's where... Um, Nasir couldn't clap because he yeah. couldn't feel his, his hand and his, his arm had numbed arm out. And, he pinched uh, a nerve or something there for it to last that um, long. Oh, what was the kid's name? Um, Xander. Xander. Xander came off of there and uh, his arms looked like spaghetti just hanging. He couldn't. Uh, it's because it's so far behind them. Above and you and were behind. talking about Jonathan yeah. holding on to something with a. 100 pounds on his back he should i thought but that's not when you do that your arm is up above his pull-up strength you don't think is going to be a no upper body strength that messes with your shoulders and your that can cut off your circulation and so i don't know that i don't think he would go first to help him but he won't go first i don't think but he may not win yeah uh erica won that challenge last season for her team, again, For they were divided team. into yes. teams, and then, and then Xander, Xander won the one that went the longest that decided the food reward. Yeah. Yeah. So, but Deshaun hung in there a long time, but he didn't. Yep. He didn't make it. How about a JSFL update? Okay. I can do that. Let's see. There were 59 USBs lost, including yours. Mm-hmm. Three, t- three people are tied in first place. 73 people lost a safe point, and 82 people earned a vote-off point. So a lot of people thought that, you know. General High was on their way out. They were pointing it high a lot. Mm -hmm. So in the side challenge with 44 points, Laurel, 43, Cold Mike and Jeremiah, 42, Drew, 41, Rebecca, 39, Stacy, 38, Parker, 37, Robert, and 35, Justin. All right, there we are. Well, it was a pretty great episode. It wasn't, like, the greatest of all time, but... No, but I enjoyed it. It was a really solid one, I think, from beginning to end. Yeah, quite enjoyable. Did you have anything else? Uh, I don't think so. I think we... It, it, at least if I do, I don't know it in the moment, so... All right. Well, we're looking forward to hearing what you thought about this episode. We've got the listener feedback show that we do on Saturdays. That's when we hand it over to you, the super fans, and ask you what you thought about the episode. Who do you think's playing the best? Who's likely to be the next to go? How do you think it's all going to end? How's it shaping up for the end game from your perspective? The voicemail lines 206 350 1547, toll free 844. 844- 643-8737. You can record your own audio and send it as an attachment in email, or just type it up in a quick email message, and then we'll read it into the show on your behalf. The email address, Joanne and Stacy Show at gmail.com. Feedbacks due noon Pacific time on Saturdays. And we ask you to keep it in that three-minute range. And if you can get it in as soon as possible, we've been having fantastic listener feedback shows. Sometimes we're talking about important subjects sometimes we're just having fun with our favorite reality show and talking about what happened and what we think is going to happen next and then i've got one more thing if you're still here with us here's an opportunity to earn an extra point in jsfl it's called the listener reward bonus question we may have more but here's the first one for this season which castaway's first name sounds like something you'd hear in a Scooby-Doo cartoon? Something we've talked about in the listener feedback shows. Yeah. Do not misspell the name or well, you won't get How about credit. it? Let's, let's, let's emphasize the positive. You can find the correct spelling for yes. the castaway's name by looking at Paul's visual roster. Make sure you spell mm-hmm. it the way it's spelled there and you'll be good to go for an extra point in JSFL. Please do not post the question on Facebook page. Right. 
It's a listener this is reward a listener, yes. bonus question. Let's keep it that way if we can. Thanks. Anything else? I think that's it. Good luck, everybody. Oh, let me just say where to find it, too. When you go in to make your picks, when you log in, there's an answer question section. So just oh. click there and then make sure you got your spelling right. Check it, Double check it with Paul's visual roster and then answer the question there when you go to make yeah. your picks. The and question the, is, won't be there, right? It doesn't show up there? No, no, because it's a listener reward That's right. You only hear the question here. Yep, and that was it. All right, have a good one.